Proverbs 8 1-4 One does not wisdom call, and understanding raise her voice. Two on top of the heights beside the way, where the paths meet, she takes her stand. Three beside the gates, at the opening to the city, at the entrance of the doors, she cries out, Four to you, people, I call, and my voice is to mankind. As an American most blogs come from the experience of life growing and living in the United States of America. The Native Americans were already living then people from Europe come over to a place they call the New World, so they could worship however they wanted. We fought for our freedoms but oppressed others ourselves, but still yet, saying we are one nation under God. The Civil War was fought, to keep the country as one and even. Even when slavery was put to an end in America, forms of oppression still existed, hate groups form, and still exist in the USA currently. They have the belief, only their people matter and all else may be underneath them, but on the very same people will do harm to they look alike or even within their household. God's wisdom is almost all over the country, churches are everywhere some beside each other or across the street from each other. The Holy Bible is available everywhere, one can be bought at department stores. A Bible can be bought for many prices or even given away freely if a man or woman go to jail or poison a free Bible available to him or her. People all over history, American and non-Americans have said if we are one nation under God and living by His wisdom, no one can tell by its fruits or how Americans live. The Ten Commandments are on statues or on building in different parts of the country, but some place are asking to be removed. Still, yet, how many of those wise rules of God are truly kept, but the people of America, who proclaim to be God-fearing people? The USA isn't the only country that is like this, the country of Israel, really isn't much different. Many modern-day Israelites, idolize America and build cities that look like Las Vegas. The city of Tel Aviv is a favorite place to live and visit, it is a very active city, full of restaurants, nightclubs, casinos, and people who love to party. They say Jewish words like Shabbat Shalom on the Seventh day Sabbath, but it's just like saying Aloha in Hawaii. I have been to people's houses, who were drunks, or who did illegal drugs, or not teach their children about Jesus, and they would have Bible in their house, but then again those people's life was chaotic. People are protesting, saying, no justice no peace, but they are causing hoax trying to achieve peace. We live in world of sin, and there will not world with 100% justice or peace until Satan is destroyed and those who reject God's wisdom are destroyed by the devil. The older the world gets, more and more people are not l listening to God's wisdom. The whole world, not just the USA and Israel, are living so foolish, we may be looking like what God saw when he looked down in Genesis 6, and say time to stop this madness, of rejecting your Maker's instruction on how to live wisely. God bless you all, Jesus loves you, prepare your hearts for the kingdom of heaven, and I love you, Samuel H. 1 Corinthians 1 19 For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the understanding of those who have understanding, I will confound. 20 Where is the wise person? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has God not made foolish the wisdom of the world? 21 For since in the wisdom of God the world through its wisdom did not come to know God, God was pleased through the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe.